Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into the microphone. I well because I can and I continue as we find. I were you, I'd go to my desk and at least pretend I was doing as I've been told. Checking if they have anything to say. Did I just write some random gibberish on some other person's computer? Ah, that's winter sounds... Seems rude. It was all connected. Mm, it. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Well, at least gives me second chance to sort of explore. Oh, so we did, uh, Max and Winterson did catch some serial killer recently, apparently. Okay, so she's in there. I'm not going to go there yet. Said you didn't do it. Hell no! I'm a fall guy! I've been framed! It's a setup! I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were gonna whack me. Motherfuckers! They, they, they were gonna whack me! Steal my money! It was self defense! Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed, and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone. It's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? Okay, now I get it. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They killed themselves in your bed with your gun, proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw, and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V, and when you are helpless, they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy. A and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman, and that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. <laughs> so all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman and we get the proof. See, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. <sighs> I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You failed to grasp how serious this is. Okay, so how would you like to take this forward? Give me a gun and set me loose, and I'll have this mess sorted out in no time. Okay, wise guy, the comedy hour is over. You shut up for a while so I can write this crap down. Okay, that was quite a 
Sorry, Payne. Can't help you now. I've just cracked the crime of the century. Go write your own damn report. Okay, okay, I'm sticking. Go away. I'm busy. Some of us have work to do. Okay. Sorry, Pain, you missed it. Just poured myself the last cup. You can always make more pain. This is really good coffee. Man Anyone know who made it? Pain, did you make this? It's really good. That's right. Dick Justice. Oh boy. I don't mean to. Clean sing, clean. Use. Okay, I'm the use the curiously tempted to use that. It's not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind. Our doors are open. Hey, nice going, Payne. Good job. If there was still summer, you'd be a dead man right about now. You better stop praying oh we won't get an Indian summer, Payne. So did I just break air conditioning in the entire building or something? Doesn't look like I'm open for business. When the door's closed, it's closed for a reason. Okay, I'm just trying to explore before I... I needed to talk to Mona. Behind bars, she wasn't going anywhere before I'd get some answers. The cells were downstairs. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. So I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay. You know those awful video games. Keep people violent and whatnot. How come it's this hot in here? It's fallen raining outside. Has someone messed up the air conditioning again? No. Ten four. Repeat. Can you verify that? Okay, stand by. Go ahead. Negative on that. Can you verify the address? Roger that. Okay, can you repeat the plate number? Investigate further. Max is being a bit of a jerk, pushing Ten random four. buttons. Repeat. Can you verify that? But then again, it's me who's for forcing okay, him to do it. So probably shouldn't blame him. I wouldn't be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I can give you my number, in case you ever get an urge to protect someone in the middle of the night. For crying out loud, is it too much to ask for some privacy? I'll be out when it's done.
just like this. Oh, I actually can. I wonder if it's relevant somehow to the rest of the story of the game. your name if you can't spell it right yourself, Brassad. It's basic positioning. It all starts with a name. None of that matters. When I crack this case, Miller, they'll remember. Like you're ever gonna crack it. It'll be done when it's done. I'm gonna do it right. It's the spirit of the law, not the letter. I'll be on your back about it till you do. You already put a snake in my bed. What more can you do? What? Is that an idiom or...? Positioning. Like, that's what the job's about. Hey, Payne. Max Payne. Now, there's a catchy name for you. My actual name. It's quite a spawny area for a little combat chapter. I'm not sure whether I go to talk to Winterson first, Mona, which will automatically progress the storyline, but I guess lockup is closed for now, so I guess I talk to Winterson first. I thought about walking away, vanishing into the night. I couldn't do it. Okay. Wait, there's another set of, set of cells here. Well, I'll just try it. Not be a huge tragedy. If it turns out I can't visit Winters and after that. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. There's nothing more boring than sitting behind this desk. Yeah? Payne here. I need a statement from Mona Sachs. Sorry, Payne. She's upstairs in a lineup. Ah, so... Probably talking with Winterson. Cut off kills two birds with one stone, you could say. Going to get uh, anyway. Brandy to make you feel rich and famous. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah, number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, that's, ladies, you heard her this way. That's actually an incorrect way to do this. You can because wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Because when you're... Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. 
They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. Never been to a police station before. Exciting stuff. Yeah, it's actually a wrong way to do a to do a parade. I'm not uh, sure if it's the correct term in English, but what I mean, you know, of the pointing out, pointing out of the of the perp, uh, like in this setting, because mm, because if you have an uneven number of them, like in this case three, mm, it creates a. We've actually been taught that at the university. It creates a sort of psychological. Um, tendency in people um, watching to concentrate more on the person in the middle, so two for in this case, uh, the second one, uh, because it's sort of how our how our brains work. That uh, you know when some something is centered, you sort of, sort of are sort of drawn to it, and it makes it so that they are more more likely to point at the person in the middle regardless of whether it's the quote-unquote right person, the person that actually they saw or something, just because she or he is in the middle. So it should be uh, it should be an even number, like four or six or something. And, and there are a couple of other, like... Uh, that the, the, the people should like wear uh, similar unassuming stuff because if one person is dressed particularly like outlandish or something it also sort of draws your attention and makes it more that, that you seem to um, it's sort of more unusual so you're more like more likely to say that you've. Mm, I'm not sure what, where I was going with that, but the, yeah, then the number one thing is the the actual number of people. So that was wrong. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. So what I'm doing now? My report. I'm busy making a list of people whose butts I'm gonna fire. You don't want to be one of them. Mm. Maybe I can talk with Mona now. Finished. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. Mona Sachs, huh? Lucky bastard. I wouldn't mind getting a statement from her. Yeah, she's a looker. She killed someone? Better be careful, Payne. Very basic instinct. Your femme fatale's down the corridor to your left. Okay. can say that again. I mean, there I am driving a stolen car on my way to the lot to get a trunk full of illegal guns to sell. Mind you, I don't have them yet at this point apart from the wheels under me. I'm a law-abiding citizen. At this point, I'm still just on my way to get the guns, okay? So the cops pull me over. That's fucked up. Uh, that's what I'm telling you. 
that's what I'm thinking when they when they pull me over. This is fucked up. And you know what? They couldn't care less about the car. No shit. That's the iron. It's some kind of if you drink, don't drive campaign. All they want is for me to blow into a breathalyzer. No shit. I kid you not. So with a breath of relief, I take the damn test. And just when it's over, when they're just about to wave me on my way... Uh-oh. The cops eyes zoom in and stop on something sticking out from under the seat. Game over. What? A fucking gun. I didn't even know it was there. Must have belonged to the owner. Unlicensed. Turns out it's a murder weapon. How fucked up is that? <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. So, uh, what are you in here for? Oh, me? A DUI. Oh, that's fucked up. I'm not sure what DUI stands for in this context. <laughs> not again, G Ah, there it is. Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the Inner Circle was mentioned. As the lady said, we're all gonna die. And puke ain't pretty, but it never lies. I mean, sure, I'd be okay if we had Hannibal Lecter in custody. Can I use your phone? There's ah, one through the door behind you. You can use that. I wanted to hear them talk, but I apparently... Interrupted the door to the station's garage was locked, except for when the perps were brought into custody. Conversation, anyway. I think it to be an interesting one. What? Honey, we I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. What? Hey, no idea what that meant. What's up, pain? Nothing to see here. Move along. Nothing to see. Okay, so. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch. Find her. Kill her. NYPD, drop your gun. Ah! Well, she's very fortunate Mona had been that right. I had to go after her. He got killed so close to the door. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. Oh, they didn't kill the puking guy. I saw it. What gives? I saw it. They are all dead. Shoot! Sucker! 
Staying here, trapped behind a desk, would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinny Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor, drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them, even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you are going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. It wasn't really a question, though. More like a statement. Why was I there again? Wait. Wait just a minute. Talk to me. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. Wanting something is the fear of losing it, or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. Okay, save.
Find them, kill them. The cop and the killer bitch. No sidetracking. That's what the boss said. Yeah, yeah. All for it. I hate this. I hate this. I'm not going in there. Come on, you baby. This is just like a ghost train for kiddies. Ooh, they're coming for us. Hell, we're doomed. Attack with the badly drawn cardboard badasses. I'm telling you, I got a bad feeling about this. I'll hold your hand. Drive all the scary monsters away. I feel so much better already. Okay. Hey, what the hell? Ah, it's gonna fall! Cover me! I'm not sure how that helped me, if at all. Apparently I can't get through here anyway. was a misnomer. They were making a mess of it. This is so cool. Best show ever. The hero chases his serial killer, John Mira, and in the end, he's in this insane asylum toilet, and he looks in the mirror and sees the killer there. See, he's in the John, and he looks in the mirror, so it's like John Mira, and he's the killer himself. Hey, I haven't seen it. Now you spoiled it. Thanks a lot. You haven't seen it? You haven't seen it? You have to see it. I can lend you the DVD, and they still have this cool website. You have to see it. Yeah, but watch it with the spoilers. <laughs> okay. It wasn't safe. I'm not sure who approved this part. Also, not sure if I can just drop down there. Looks like a little too big of a distance to be safe. Okay, so clearly the way go. But it's still, I, I got an ammo out of that. Something. Funhouse was Mona's playground. There! She's up there! Look out! She had disappeared back into the shadows. An intervention from above 
over too soon. Can have some fun too. sick and tired of the cleaners speeding away in their vans. I had only one chance, no time to stop and think it through. I had no choice. I couldn't have waited for Mona. It was Vlad's excuse. Fate. I didn't trust myself. Max. I'd forgotten about the radio Mona had given me. Max. I'm here to go ride with the cleaners. I'll let you know when we get where we're going. I can't talk now. I couldn't crack her. I had to crack the case. Mona, Castling Insurance Company's construction site. I'm on my way. Take it to the top floor. Yeah, with the rest of the evidence. Hey, careful with those red boxes. You'll blow us all up. I'll get the stuff from the van and meet you there. Hey, what the fuck? I thought of Vlad's Trojan horse. I'd gotten into the cleaner's hideout in the back of their van. They'd give me directions to the evidence on the top floor. Okay, I think I'll end the episode here, so save and see you in the next one. Bye.